Hey kids, I'm Dean from L3 Harris Technologies, and today I'm going to teach you the wares. No, not fashion or clothing. Ah! I'm talking about technology. Hardware, software, and firmware. Hardware, software, and firmware are the things that make all of our devices work the way we want them to. Your television, your computer, your phone, your Nintendo Switch, your refrigerator, your microwave, your car, camera, pool pump, robot vacuum. Basically, almost anything that uses electricity. So what is the difference between hardware and software? And what is this firmware thing that's kind of in the middle? Hardware is the physical components of a device. These are the things that you can touch, like your mouse, your keyboard. And even inside your computer, there are physical components. Different computer chips and integrated circuits that use electricity to make your device work. This is why they're called hardware because these things are physical, they're hard, you can touch them. Software, on the other hand, is not physical. Software is basically like a set of instructions, kind of like a recipe. The hardware performs these software instructions to accomplish a task, like preparing a meal. Think of the iPhone. The physical iPhone is the hardware. The screen, the battery, the circuits on the inside. But if that's all the iPhone was, it wouldn't do much of anything. The apps on the iPhone are what you use to get things done. Make a call, send an email, play Minecraft. These apps are the software, the complex sets of instructions that the hardware performs to make things happen. Another good analogy is cooking in the kitchen. Your kitchen has a lot of hardware. The oven that warms things up, the utensils you use like a roller or a whisk, your refrigerator to cool things down. But if you put all that hardware in your kitchen and then just wait, you're not going to get any food out. You need a recipe, a set of instructions and ingredients to make food. The recipe is like software and it uses the hardware, your oven, your utensils, to make different types of food. Hardware and software each have their strengths. Hardware is built to do one thing really well. It's super fast and efficient, but you can't change it. You can't turn an oven into a refrigerator or a keyboard into a mouse. So it's not very flexible. Software, on the other hand, is almost infinitely flexible. You can make a recipe for peanut butter pizza or an app for adding cats to all your pictures. But these are just a set of instructions for the hardware to execute. So by definition, it's always going to be slower than the hardware itself. This is where firmware comes in. Some people call it firmware, but it's really a type of technology called field programmable gate arrays. Let's call them FPGAs. FPGAs are devices that combine the flexibility of software with the speed and efficiency of hardware. An FPGA is a physical device, a piece of hardware, that consists of thousands of tiny devices or hardware elements inside it. And unlike with software, the firmware for an FPGA doesn't just define a set of instructions for this device to perform, it defines which of the thousands of devices will be used and how they will be used for every different application. So in our kitchen analogy, firmware for an FPGA is like arranging all the hardware in your kitchen that you need to make a hamburger in just the right way to make hamburgers. No need to follow a recipe. So with FPGAs, you get the speed of hardware and the flexibility of software. The best of both. Okay, our first contestant on What's the Wear is Landon. Landon, what grade are you in? I'm in second. 
All right, Glenn, and here's your question. For $100, which where are the physical components on your computer? Your motherboard, your monitor, and your mouse? Hardware. Hardware is correct. All right. Who asked your mother for $100? Mom, can I have $100? <laughs> Okay, our next contestant on what's the where is Dylan. Dylan, what grade are you in? I'm in fourth grade. All right. For $100, Dylan, here's your question. What do you call the set of instructions that run on hardware to make something happen? Well, I mean, it could be software. You're right. All right. Go ask Landon for $100. Landon, can you give me $100? <laughs> Alright, our last contestant on what's the where is Aiden. Aiden, what grade are you in? I'm in 6th grade. Okay, Aiden, here's your question. Uh -huh. If I wanted my device to do something really fast, but I wanted to be able to change what it did every day of the week, because I get bored easily like you, what where would I use? Firmware. That's correct! Nice job. Okay. Bonus round question, you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. What where would you use for underwater? Uh, software. Ooh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that was close. We were looking for swimwear. Swimwear, okay. Do I get any kind of money? Any money? Didn't I feed you today? No. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>